Welcome back everyone, Stefan here and this is the French Cooking Academy. Today we're doing a very quick recipe, if I can even call it, it's more really of a quick side dish. And this is a response to uh, some of you that have asked me to make something with fennel. Now what is fennel, actually I've got one here, is that strange looking thing. It's a very famous vegetable in France, huh? it's, it's a root, huh? usually there's more stalks and it's a plant coming out of the, of the ground and it's really got that kind of uneasy flavor and I've got the perfect way to cook it which is roasted in the oven with tomatoes and olive oil, it's super delicious. Oh, the south of France and this beautiful product. I can see or hear the crickets from here looking at uh, these lovely ingredients over here. So look at that. We've got these two uh, bulbs of, of fennel here. They really look odd, but they're, they're really delicious. We're going to see how to handle them. And uh, we're going to cook those with some simple uh, truss tomatoes and these little kind of cherry tomatoes on their branch with a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil sorry. Uh, this is just a little reminder. Uh, keep using this pesto and mortar. I'm using it for salt and other things. It's a really handy stuff. And of course the bread. Huh? Olive bread always goes very well with uh, anything with tomatoes. I love it. Just to dip in the sauce. Okay, so let's look at the recipe. What a strange beast that fell. When you look at it, it's really an odd vegetable. But it's very easy to, uh, to prepare. So as always, the knife size, uh, as I said before, not too big, not too small. Uh, for, it's fit for purpose. And when you get this bulb of fennel, basically we need to prepare it. So the first thing we're going to do is cut these little uh, outer leaves. So take your knife and just going to chop everything off. And make sure it's all nice and clean. When you've done that, you end up with that part, so it's nice and thin, but you see the back here? That's kind of untidy and we need to remove basically the outer leaves of the fennel. So easiest part, you know, easiest way to do, you trim off the bottom of the fennel like that. Yeah? And these should detach and you can reserve these leaves for a soup or a stock or anything like that. And this is what we're going to keep, the nice looking bulb of fennel. To cut the fennel then, it's very easy. You can take the whole thing and you can cut it in like four pieces. Two small ones here and then here. You do the same, trim a little bit of the back there and then cut another time lengthways. And that's it. You have your fennel that's prepared. You're going to repeat the same with all the fennel bulbs you want to have. Tomatoes stay the same, you just wash them and keep them as is. Now that the fennel is cut and ready, the very important step before we cook it in the oven or roast it in the oven, we have to blanch it or pre-cook it in water. So you're going to take a pan full of water, you add some rock salt, and not too much, and you're going to bring that to the boil. As soon as the water boils, we're going to put the fennel straight in. When all the fennel is in, you're going to wait for the boiling to come back and then you're going to count a good 10 to 12 minutes of pre-cooking. You need to make sure that the fennel is half cooked. Now while this is cooking, you're going to start to heat up your oven at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 396 degrees Fahrenheit, so that when we're ready, we're going to put this in a very hot oven with the tomatoes. When the fennel is pre-cooked, you're going to delicately take it and reserve it in a sieve so it can dry a little bit for just a few minutes. So be delicate because it can fall apart otherwise. Huh? Okay, so now I've disposed my uh, pieces of fennel in a large enough tray. That is very important to be forward thinking and when you're going to cook this in the oven because we're going to have to turn them eventually halfway through the cooking so that they're nice and roasted everywhere. So take a pan that's, that's big enough. Once you've got all these, the tomatoes, too, huh? the tomatoes they stay as is. Just plain tomatoes, they're going to open on their own. So, sprinkle of salt, uh, very important. You want something blend and of course uh, plenty of pepper. Next, of course, the olive oil. That is the necessary for all dishes. Uh, so a good drizzle of oil. All done. When you've done this, you're going to put this in your preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 396 Fahrenheit and leave this to roast or cook for at least 15 minutes. Halfway through the cooking, you're going to have to turn these things around to make sure they're cooked on either side. When it's ready, I'll take it out and dress it up on the dish to show the result. And would you look at this, the table is served. Guys, has really prepped up the whole thing and this is my presentation of the fennel 
uh, the roasted fennel with cherry tomatoes. So this is the little dish I would propose, you know, on a, on a table. And this is the individual portion, just to show you basically how lovely that thing is. So these fennels here, you see they're nicely roasted, full of oil, salt and pepper, and these lovely tomatoes, look at that. Absolutely soft. And you can just slice through the fennel, look at this. There is no resistance, and you can just take a mouthful and eat it like that. Tomatoes, same thing. The juice will just explode in there, and you can mix the fennel, if I can grab it, with the tomato together. Mm, honestly, guys, that mix of fennel with tomato, for me, it's a match made in heaven. Absolutely lovely if you cook this with salmon, of ocean trout, of any kind of grilled fish. It's really, really delicious. Now, before I go, my cooking tips. I did say 15 minutes. I have experience with the, the roasting of the, the fennel and I would say actually it's more like 20 to 25 minutes, leave it 20 minutes in the oven, full blast and finish with a 5 minutes on the broiler to get this lovely effect and then you will have a bowl guaranteed. But that's it for the video of the, of the week or the midweek. I'll leave you with these lovely pictures on here and I'll see you all next time on my next video. Bye bye.